If you're a nervous driver, you may want to look away now because we're about to take a spin around Brighton's busy streets in the smallest car ever produced. The Peel P50 is just 1.3 metres long. It was originally made in the 1960s, but Alex Orkin from Wivelsfield has a perfect replica. Last time we heard from Alex, he was driving it from John O'Groats to Land's End. But now he's parked his tiny car at the Brighton Toy and Model Museum. Sarah Smith has more. It's the little car which gets a big reaction. Brighton's traffic may tower above it, but the Peel P50 is rarely overshadowed. When Alex Orchin spotted one on Top Gear, is the 49cc engine from a moped. he decided he had to have one and bought this exact replica on eBay. They very rarely come up for sale and I saw it, it was about three o'clock in the morning, I was awake and I, I clicked buy it now, woke up in the morning and thought, did I actually buy a Pill P50 last night? Looked on my phone, yes I did. He's since driven it from John O'Groats to Land's End to raise money for children in need and now he's found the perfect parking space, a little closer to home, at the Brighton Toy and Model Museum, where for once it's a giant among its peers. <laughs> It is the size of a toy car, so it kind of does fit in here, but also we're really excited because it gives us the opportunity to attract new people to the museum who may not have visited us before, but they're actually really into their cars. It's got no reverse gear and little legroom, but luckily Alex doesn't drive it for the comfort. It's a nightmare to drive, so it's three wheels, one wheel at the back, the engine is underneath my right leg, so it's off balance. So going around right hand turns, not a problem. Sharp left hand turn is going to tip over. It's, it's terrifying. But what kind of keeps me going, what compels me to drive it, is the reaction that it gets, because people just love this car. Fewer than 100 of these rolled off the original factory line back in the early 60s. The car never caught on, so production was halted. But if you'd wanted to pick one up back then, it would have cost you £199. The last time one was auctioned, though, it raised £120,000. That one probably won't be hitting our streets. If it fell down a pothole, you'd have to tow it out, wouldn't you? <laughs> Alex's dream is to drive it the length of Route 66. But until the autumn, home is at the museum. Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today. Brighton. <laughs>